What's going on guys? Cliff and Denny with On Your Own Outdoors. Hey guys, so today we're here to talk about some deer stand chairs or ground blind chairs or fishing chairs or hanging around a campfire chair, whatever you want to call it. But the chair we're here to talk about today is the Nextcam Axis RG360. Um, so if you've been following along with the videos, then you noticed that we did a chair by Nextcam earlier this week and that chair was like the Cadillac, right? So when it comes to chairs, that chair had everything you could have to offer. Um, this chair is more of their basic chair. So we're gonna go through this thing, the things that it doesn't have that the other product did, and the things that you still get with this little bit lower price chair and the benefits to it, right? So <laughs> all in all. Um, but anyways, the next cam 360, just like we did the other day, we're gonna run through the features that they have on the box and we're gonna use that to kind of describe this chair. So some things that it had that the other one also had, 360 degrees. As you can see here, Chair goes 360 degrees, 45 degree tilt. Um, again, it's because the seat is mounted on, you know, I wanna call it springs, but it's not. It's like that U kind of frame and it's spongy. So when you're sitting in the chair, you can lean back, you can rock forward, so on and so forth. Um, just like the chair that we did earlier in the week. The big thing about this chair is, is price point. It's a lot cheaper. So some of the things that you just noticed right off the bat that it doesn't have, it didn't come with the shooting stick, you know, the arm for holding your rifle, and it didn't come with armrest. Reason being, some situations you don't need that. Other thing is, if you remember the video that I did the other day, one of my complaints was, was the weight of that chair. That was really the only complaint that I had. This chair is considerably lighter because it's missing all that stuff. You didn't, if you're in a situation where you don't need it, then why have it? Easy setup. Again, now that I put the other chair together, this chair took me maybe two minutes to put together. Pull it out of the box, You've only got four little hand bolts. You bolt that thing down to the uh, the tripod. You know, it's got five points of contact down there on the ground, but you bolt it down to that. Adjust the legs out. They have three different adjustments on them. You adjust them out, you're ready to go. Dual rocker springs, that's what we was talking about a while ago. Adjustable legs, each leg, so there's five different legs and each leg has three adjustments. Um, that way you can take advantage of those situations that you find yourself in where the ground's unlevel. This will give you that opportunity to go ahead and level that chair out so you're not sitting like this or like this or like this. Or one of the situations like Bo and I had this year whenever we were deer hunting was the chair that we were in. Whenever he'd go to lean up, you know, cause he got little legs, you know, his feet didn't touch the ground. So when he leaned up, chair would want to tilt. If we'd have had this back during hunting season, we wouldn't have had that issue. So that's another benefit of this chair. Comfortable seat. Again, just like the other chair, one big thing about these is that it's got the high back. Um, you can also see here where it's got the curvature to it. Uh, and the reason that's a big deal is whenever you sit down in it, you can see there, it comes out and gives you that upper back support that some of the other competitors chairs don't have. Portable, so not having all that extra stuff with this chair, it's super portable. Uh, and I'll show you guys in a minute. We're not gonna skip through anything. I'm gonna pull it actually apart and strap it together while we're all sitting here today. Um, but it makes it super portable and right, wrong, or indifferent. If you wanted to go buy the V2 shooting set for this chair, so you wanted a little bit cheaper chair, doesn't have the armrest, it doesn't have the cup holder, but it is still compatible with that V2 shooting rest. So if you got this chair and then you decided, hey, you know what, I do, I, I really wish that I would have went ahead and got that V2 shooting support, you can get that with these as well. So that's one cool thing that they did. Their high end chairs and their low end chairs, they're all compatible with that uh, option. And then finally, the last thing that we have is you've got a little baggie here that you can store stuff in if you want to. This chair does offer the shoulder strap. So that's the way that you carry this chair as well. It's got the same rugged powder coated steel frame. All in all guys, it is a basic chair, super comfortable chair. If I wasn't carrying my kid and I wanted a chair that I could carry in and out of the woods, my ground blind, didn't want to leave it in my stand all year long, that kind of thing. This would be the chair that I would look more into. Um, again, price point is just a little bit cheaper. And then I'm not really gonna use armrests if I'm not, if I don't have that uh, that V2 short shooting support anyways. Um, if you've got a box blind or a deer stand that we call them down here in the south and you got shooting rails all the way around you, well, there's no really sense in having that. So I've got y'all here. What we're gonna do to fi finish this is we're gonna show y'all how to compact this thing down to carry it in and out of the woods. Again, it doesn't have the options that the other one does. So it is most certainly more lightweight. So let's get into that right now. It's gonna take me a little bit longer because I'm gonna be kind of showing y'all as we go along. 
So, uh, number one, there's your discount code. So number one, as we go through this, like I was showing on the other one, you've got four little hand tabs here inside of this. And so if you wanted to tote it like this, you most certainly could. You don't have to fold it up to carry it. You can go like that there, fold that guy down, and you can tote it like this if you want to. But if you wanted to actually break it apart, spread those legs back out, you're gonna come down here to those four turn knobs and you're gonna take those guys out. So I've got my four knobs out, seat comes off. I'm gonna set it down. If you kind of open it just a little bit while it's sitting on the ground, it gives you a better opportunity for it to kind of make a platform for itself to strap to. There's your little turn knobs, just four little hand knobs. What I like to do with these guys, you've got your four holes here. Just go ahead and put them back in those holes. Uh, it'll keep you from losing them, getting down in the woods and realizing they've backed out somewhere and now you can't find them. All right, so to pack this thing, I've got all the legs extended to the third hole. That's the extensions that I'm talking about. They're just little push pins. I'm gonna push that dude. Push it in as far as they will go. All the way around. All right, so they're all down. Take your shoulder strap, kind of kick it back over the other side. This guy, if you flip this around to where the back side of that cup faces the chair, it fits in there really snug. You've got your two Velcro straps. Bring it around, going around the frame of the chair. Comes back over the top there. Do the same thing on this other side. Making sure that you go around the frame of the chair, because if you don't go around the frame of the chair, then whenever you go to stand up, it's just all gonna fall off anyways. Well, ma'am, thank you, ma'am. You're packed up, you're ready to go. It's way more lightweight than uh, the more expensive option, which again, I think that more expensive option is made for those kind of permanent setups. With this one, if you were running and gunning, had a crossbow, you didn't need a rest, um, you had your compound bow. I know guys that hunt off the ground with their compound bow, they find a treetop they set up in. That's what this thing's for. You can take it, strap it over the top like this, go on, um, you're good to go. The, ch the chest strap is adjustable. You can see how low it is here. Obviously, I would tighten that thing up to bring it up a little bit. But all in all, this is the Nexcam Axis RG360. Um, outstanding chair so what we always do guys is we talk about the pluses and the minuses of every product that i do on this page um, i like to start with the negatives and then i like to finish with the positives so we always get to finish with a smile on our face and be happy right um, on a positive note i actually don't have any negatives about this chair and i'm not just saying that everybody if you have followed this and you go back and watch any of the other products and you think that i'm just here trying to get you to go buy a chair that's not it what i'm telling you is is that i try to find products to bring to guys that i actually think are useful I think this is a useful product. And the reason being the comfort, the usability, and then overall just the multi-use. So whenever I buy a product, I like to buy something I can use for multiple things. And that's what this is gonna do. It's super durable, it's heavy, it's heavy duty, it's made well. I like the fact that it doesn't like clip together. It actually screws together at all of its points. It's an outstanding chair um, that I think you could take from the ballpark to the deer woods. It's gonna be great. Hey guys. Um, that's all I've got for y'all today. I appreciate y'all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Go back to that homepage. Hit the little bell up top because you never know what kind of products we're going to be doing and you never know where we're going to be hunting. This is the Nextcam Axis RG360, the more basic model of their chairs. And I think it's a home run. So until next time, guys, good hunting and we'll see you probably from the turkey.